the Canucks would not interview Simashev today for, unless they thought highly of him, Donnie, and they weren't possibly thinking of uh, taking him at 11. They're going to talk to him after uh, this interview with us. Simashev's going to talk to the Canucks. So earlier uh, today, uh, we recorded this interview with Dmitry Simashev, who is uh, learning the language. Russian player learning the language. Uh, 6'4", left-handed uh, defenseman, expected to go in the first round of the National Hockey League draft, will he go 11? Uh, we'll see. But we started the interview, and it's not all that long, and keep in mind he's just learning the language, and this is uh, in tandem with uh, Dan Milstein, who we're going to hear from later. But we started the interview off asking uh, Dimitri just how excited he is right now, the day before the National Hockey League entry draft. Yeah, I have a very busy days uh, now. Uh, a lot of interview. Uh, I'm so excited. It's dream uh be in the shell yeah what can you tell us for people who don't know about the way you play hockey your style as a defenseman uh i think i'm two-way defenseman yeah i'm big guy aggressive guy and uh, i can uh, uh, play creative and offensive zone what are you going to be working on over the summer what improvements do you have to make uh, I improve my defensive game because I'm defenseman, yeah, and shooting because it's uh, very important for offensive defenseman and offensive part of my game. Have you met with the Canucks yet? Have they taken you out for dinner? No, uh, I didn't have dinner with Canucks. What do you know about Vancouver? Uh, good sushi. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, he was fully prepped for this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dimitri, let me ask you, uh, growing up, uh, who were some of your favorite players uh, growing up? Who do you model your game around? Uh, my favorite players? Um, uh, I like Moritz Zyder. Uh I try to uh, play like Moritz Zyder, uh, but skating uh, like Mir Heiskin. Dimitri, do you know any of the Russian players on the Canucks, in the Canucks organization? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kuzmenko, yeah. Oh, Quinn Hughes, not Russian, but I know this. He knows of Quinn Hughes. He's yeah. followed, followed his career. Yeah, big time. But he loves Quinn Hughes. According to Button, the Canucks should stay away from him. But who knows? Yeah. Right? Okay, uh, you saw Dan Milstein there. Is that all you have to say, by the way? You What's were sitting there writing notes? I thought you were going to say a little bit more. No, it was a great interview. His English is really good. And, and the big thing that Dan told us a year, year and a half ago, he started working on his English. Donnie, there you go. And he started working on his English to the point where it's very good. You know, well, I thought that's what you were going to say. That I was going to say it that. It shows a lot of courage coming on a Co program courage, like this. this. Yeah. Whatever you think of the program, fo yeah. folks. Coming a, lo a, when, a, a lot of courage coming on a pro program like this when his English is, uh, is just beginning. And, and when Do yeah. Dan offered him up to us, Donnie, I said, how's his English? He said, really good. It was. Okay, you saw Dan Milstein there as well. He represents uh, Dmitry Simashev, uh, Dan from the Gold Star Hockey uh, Group. He is uh, his uh, agent, Dmitry's uh, agent, and uh, we started our conversation with Dan, asking him if Vancouver would be a fit for his client. Well, you know, actually, Patrick was tempering with my client uh, at the hotel where, where Vancouver is staying. There, there are six other NHL teams, and Patrick Alvin uh, ran into Dmitry in the elevator without my presence. So, uh, <laughs> but all the jokes aside, uh, look, uh, uh, he, Dimitri would fit on any, any team. He's the, he, uh, I consider him to be the best defenseman of uh, the upcoming draft, and uh, uh, we're going to have a good night tomorrow. Hey, what can you tell us, Dan, uh, about uh, a couple of players? First of all, Andre Kuzmenko, is he going for the title of world's fittest man? It looks like he's in the best shape of his life right now. If I got that right? Uh, he's doing well. Uh, he's working with uh, uh, Pavel Datsuk's former um, uh, athletic coach. So he's going hard at it uh, the entire summer, every single day. He's sitting farther from the table and closer to the gym. Um, and uh, he's doing quite well. Ilya Mikheyev, what can you tell us about his health? Ilya is doing well. He's going to start skating within the next uh, three to four weeks or so. Uh, he's working with uh, with the rehab uh, people, and uh, we expect him to be ready before the season starts. Dan Milstein appearing at Yuck Yucks, or is it Punchlines, all next week? <laughs> it's closer. I don't know, is there still a Yuck Yucks and a Punchlines? I don't even know. A, a Sitting uh, farther from the table. Yeah. Closer to the gym. Um, 
Yep. Uh, Dan funny Milton. guy. Uh, funny guy. And obviously he has a relationship with the, with, with the Canucks that has worked out fairly well so far. Absolutely. He's got half the Canucks roster, and he's working on the other half. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, uh, folks, I don't know if you've seen it. We ran the shot yesterday, but uh, Andre Kuzmenko on a world tour in Bali yesterday. Bali. Or we saw, he posted a shot yesterday of him in Bali, of all places, working out on the ice. Right? Yeah, I saw another picture of the rink today. It's very small. I, I don't know if there's a net there. I, anyways, but he, you know, right, oh, there, is there a net there? I, well, I don't see one. I saw another photo. I, I didn't see a net, but you know what? For him to find a rink in Bali, good on him. The netless workouts in Bali are a big thing in the National Hockey League these days. It could be just a community rink to, uh, to you know, there, you know, just to, I don't think there's a... A hockey <laughs> shop in Bali. <laughs> you think it's just a community rink, do you? It's a community rink, Don. I, there's no uh, uh, pucks and sticks in hockey shops. The skate sharpeners there. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe we're underrating Bali. hockey in Indonesia, in, right? Indonesia. 